Can you imagine how a distinguished English lady, with her collection of special books, became an ambassador of Albanian cultural heritage? Through this collection of antique books, she lobbies for the values not only Albanian national hero, Skanderbeg, but also of the Albanian nation. And she has done, and continues to do, this lobbying not only in Britain but also in many other countries around the world. I am talking about Patricia Nugi, a true friend of Albanians everywhere. Whether you haven't heard of her before or have seen her name mentioned on social media, this video will reveal new and interesting things that you've never heard before. We would like to first discuss her mission and dedicated work for Skanderbeg, Albanian national identity, and Albanian values. Secondly, we will highlight the contributions she has made, and continues to make, through her charitable activities. Thirdly, we will focus on her defining characteristic, modesty. Fourth, we will explore the origins of her unique worldwide collection. Fifth, we will discuss the recognition and appreciation she has received so far. Sixth, we will touch on her background, and finally, her age. Patricia Nugi's mission and motivation, Albania and Albanians are in my heart, says Patricia, a passionate advocate for Albanian history and culture. Over more than 40 years, Patricia has dedicated herself to collecting historical works on Skanderbeg, Albanian national hero. With extraordinary passion, she has built an unrivaled collection of 37 antiquarian books and writings on Skanderbeg, dating from the 16th century to the early 19th century. This collection is so unique that it cannot be found in museums or institutions, not only nationally but also globally. Among these 37 books, nine are by Marin Barletti, written in different languages and published in cities like Rome, Augsburg, Venice, Frankfurt, London, Lisbon, Denmark, and Sweden. Patricia's deep admiration for Skanderbeg started after reading about him in the British Encyclopedia. This admiration then grew into a love for Albania and Albanians. She established contacts with prominent Albanians in London, such as members of the BBC Albanian section, Anton Logoreci, Dervish Duma, and Taja Zavalani. In the early 1990s, she expanded her network, meeting Albanians from all walks of life, including the well-known philosopher Arshi Pippa and the historical political leader Ibrahim Rugova. What is most surprising about Patricia's work is that it was not done for financial gain, but purely out of passion and love for Skanderbeg and the Albanian people. Beyond collecting and preserving this historical treasure, Patricia uses her books to lobby worldwide, not only for Skanderbeg but for the identity, culture, and history of Albania. She does this through exhibitions and meetings, which she attends annually in various countries, making a significant contribution to the promotion of Albanian history and cultural heritage. Patricia has exhibited and lobbied not only in Albanian lands and diaspora communities but also in prestigious educational institutions in Britain, such as the British Academy at Carlton House Terrace, an institution known for promoting historical, philosophical, and philological studies, and Eton College in Windsor, where 20 British Prime Ministers, including David Cameron and Boris Johnson, were educated. Additionally, Patricia has showcased her collection in global institutions, including the Ottawa Public Library and the University of Toronto in Canada, as well as other countries worldwide. The mission of my lobbying, Patricia explains, is to continually remind people of the values of Albania and Albanians. It's important to measure and repeat these values often because doing so helps counter the negative publicity Albania or Albanians sometimes receive. Patricia's motivation for promoting Albanian national hero, Albanian history, and culture stems from her belief in the importance of preserving the true history. She states, I continue my exhibitions because the real history is written in books, and these books are essential. Today, there are researchers who mistakenly treat Skanderbeg as a legend or myth. I dislike this, as the books are original documents that speak for themselves about who Skanderbeg truly was. Patricia is also well aware of the importance of education, especially for the younger generation. Her father, John Nugi, was the principal of Eastbourne College from 1938 to 1956. In recognition of his contributions, a part of Eastbourne College still bears his name. Patricia is regularly invited as a guest of honor to important events at the college, such as the inauguration of a new wing dedicated to her father, where she unveiled the plaque alongside the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Patricia's contributions and charitable work, actions speak louder than words Patricia's love for Albanians is not just expressed in words but also in actions. As an active member of the Anglo-Albanian Association in London, she prefers not to be praised for her efforts. 
For instance, 12 years ago, she was part of the group that initiated the placement of Skanderbeg's bust in London. She recalls the challenges they faced, such as the initial opposition from residents near the proposed location for the statue. In 2004, Patricia donated one of her precious books to the National Library in Pristina, Kosovo, which remains the oldest and most valuable book in their catalogue. She has also made a significant impact on education. Patricia helped two young Albanians pursue their studies in the UK by successfully applying for scholarships at prestigious British colleges. This gave them new opportunities and opened doors to a better future in their lives. Modesty Patricia Nugi stands out as a distinguished English lady with an exceptional quality which is modesty when she humbly describes her profession as a simple typist and secretary. Yet, this same lady is the sole owner and curator of a priceless collection of rare books about Albania's national hero, Skanderbeg. How did someone with such a modest background assemble this treasure of Albanian heritage, now sought after by historians around the world? The source of her collection. Patricia admits that it wasn't just her, but fate and coincidence that brought her to this remarkable achievement. She began working at the prestigious Mags Brothers in Mayfair, one of the world's oldest antiquarian book dealers. Mags Brothers, which had been favoured by the British royal family since the time of George V, became her gateway to the world of rare books. It was here that she had access to information on Skanderbeg and Albanian heritage that would otherwise have been nearly impossible to find. See, when you work in a bookshop, other bookshops send you their catalogues. So I used to read the catalogues and I used to say to Mr Clifford, does Mags want this book? If not, may I, may I buy it? So that's how I started. Throughout her career at Mags Brothers and later with the Bernard Sunley Charitable Foundation, she built this invaluable collection. She used her position and expertise to identify and acquire rare volumes from across Europe, often directly from auctions and antique shops. Recognition and awards Patricia's dedication to Albanian culture has not gone unnoticed. She was first honoured by President Ibrahim Rugova of Kosovo in 1996, receiving a Medal of Honour. Later, in 2018, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Merit by the Republic of Kosovo for her contributions to promoting Albanian history and culture. Her work has also been recognized by the National Library of Kosovo, which holds the oldest book in its catalogue, a precious volume donated by Patricia in 2004. Additionally, she was honored in Titovo, North Macedonia, by the Mayor Bilal Kasami for her unique contributions. In Albania, Patricia was proposed for the prestigious Gjörg Kastrioti Skenderbeu, award by the Director of the National Museum and the Ministry of Culture, and was ultimately awarded a Medal of Appreciation for her vast and meaningful Skanderbeg collection. Despite these honours, Patricia's modesty remains central to her character. She does not seek recognition for her work, but simply continues her mission out of a genuine passion for Albanian nation and its history. Origin of Patricia Nugi Patricia Nugi's unique last name reflects her family's French origins. Her ancestors fled France to escape persecution and massacres targeting Protestants, notably during the 16th century Saint Bartholomew's Massacre, believed to have been instigated by Queen Catherine de' Medici. Patricia explains that her ancestors initially emigrated to Ireland around 1572, and later, in 1830, they settled in London. Understanding her family's Protestant background in France, which sought refuge from persecution, draws a historical parallel to the Albanians who fled Ottoman rule after the death of Skanderbeg. Her ancestors' migration coincided with the period when many Albanians also resettled in Italy. Patricia treasures two portraits of her ancestors in her home. One particularly stands out, a portrait of a lady holding a book, an uncommon motif compared to typical British family portraits that usually feature children. As Patricia explains, the background of this portrait showcases their ancestral home in Regent's Park, London. It seems that Patricia inherited her love for books and history from her forebears. The question of age. Like many English ladies, Patricia is reluctant to discuss her age. She humorously remarks, age doesn't matter, it's just a number. Albanian media reports from 2018 indicated that she was 91 at the time and still full of energy. However, according to more reliable sources in Britain, she still has a few years before reaching her 90s. The notion of still having energy doesn't quite apply to Patricia. Her energy comes from a deep well of passion, willpower, and dedication to promoting Albanian cultural heritage. 
Her vitality is not just a testament to her physical endurance, but an inspiration for Albanians of all generations. How about that? Isn't that wonderful?